Hey guys, okay, in this personal video I'm going to show you step by step how the electrical installation of a residence is done. Let's start with the power meter with the red phase cable and the black neutral cable. We pass it through the main fuse and then connect it to the meter. This fuse will protect the home with a current limit that will pass through it. In this example I am using a 60 amp fuse. The color of the phase and neutral cables will depend on your region. I am using the color of the phase cable in red and the neutral in black and the ground in green. This is important to check in the electrical installation. Depending on the region, there will not be this main fuse along with the meter. There will be a main circuit breaker. We are leaving with the meter's live cable and as neutral. We also leave with the grounding cable that is connected to the main neutral inside this main switch with fuse. Before the cables go to the distribution board, they first pass through this junction box to be able to connect to the ground. Now we ground with a rod and connect the grounding cable to the rod. In the junction box we pass it with the ground and take it to the distribution board. I used this connector to be able to connect the rod's grounding cable together with the grounding cable that came from the main switch with fuse. Now let's go to the distribution board. This type of personal video takes a lot of work to make, so if you like it, don't forget to leave a like. So in the distribution board we have a bipolar main circuit breaker, an RCD, or a residual current device, and below we have the circuit breakers or MCBs, miniature circuit breakers for the circuits. The circuit breakers for the circuits are two circuit breakers for the lighting circuit, one circuit breaker for the bedroom and living room socket circuit, one breaker for the kitchen socket, one breaker for the laundry area, and one breaker for the shower. Then we start connecting the distribution board by connecting the phase and neutral cables to the bipolar main circuit breaker and then we go out to connect to the RCD and at the RCD output we connect the phase to the circuit breakers and the neutral to the neutral terminal block. With the green grounding cable we connect it to the ground terminal block. Now let's start with connecting the lighting circuit using only the neutral cable so you understand how the lighting circuit works. Then, in the distribution board, we leave the neutral from the neutral terminal block and take it to the box on the ceiling of the room. In the ceiling box in the room, we take a neutral cable to this lamp. And then I take another neutral cable to the other lamp in the room. I return to the room ceiling box and now leave with another neutral cable to take to the other room ceiling box. In the ceiling box we leave the neutral cable for this lamp, and then we take another neutral cable for the three LED spots. Let's leave with the last neutral cable from this ceiling box, so we can take it to the lamp at the entrance of the house, as there will no longer be a neutral cable from the lighting circuit passing through the ceiling box. We installed a connector to connect all the neutral cables. Now we go back to the ceiling box in the living room. We leave with another neutral cable from that ceiling box to be able to take it to the kitchen. And we place a connector to connect the neutral cables. In the kitchen we connect the neutral cable to the lamp and then take the neutral cable to the garage lamp. The garage lamp is already the last lamp in the circuit so we just connect the neutral cable to the lamp. The neutral cable for lighting circuit 1 is finished. Now let's go back to the board to run the phase cable. From the distribution board, we leave the phase cable from the circuit breaker and take it to the first box on the ceiling of the room. First of all, let's use this phase cable that comes out of the distribution board to be able to install this switch that will turn on and off these two lamps in the room. Then we reach the box on the ceiling of the room with the distribution board phase and take it to the switch. 
At the switch, we connect the face to the terminal, and return the face from another terminal to the ceiling box. There are other switch models. If your switch is this model, the phase enters at the top and exits at the bottom. A grounding cable must be passed through the switch to be able to connect to the grounding terminal on the switch. Now, we arrive with the phase from the switch and connect it to the lamp. In this phase that arrived from the switch, we connect another phase to be able to take it to the other lamp. This is because the switch will turn these two lamps on and off. On the other lamp we connect the phase. Now let's take another phase to the other box on the ceiling of the room. We arrived with the phase in the ceiling box and took it straight to the three gang one way switch. In the three gang one way switch we connect the phase to all terminals in the middle of the switch. Now we have one phase for each terminal, so it can take three lamps. It will be a phase for this lamp. One phase for these three LED spots. And one phase for this lamp at the entrance to the house. Now let's go back to the first box on the living room ceiling so we can take the level to the kitchen. In the ceiling box we left with one more phase for the kitchen. We install a connector to be able to connect all phases. In the kitchen ceiling box we take the phase to the switch. And then we go back with the switch phase and connect it to the lamp. Now we take the phase to the garage lamp. And in the garage ceiling box we take the phase directly to the switch. This switch has a socket, then we will go back to the socket to run the cables for the socket circuit. Then we return the phase to the lamp. We have just finished the first personal lighting circuit, the circuit breaker for the second lighting circuit, the circuit breakers for the sockets, and the bathroom are missing. The second lighting circuit will come out of this conduit that I have already distributed throughout the house. The sockets for the kitchen, living room, and other rooms are already installed and in the next videos I will show you how to do it. So guys, if this video helped you in any way, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, so you can follow the next videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.